on the video I got for you today. I've actually got several, but um, I'm going to show you the video where I installed a wireless thermostat and how to do it right. So stay tuned. Here it comes. This morning, we are going to hook up a wireless thermostat. Yes, that's been on the shelf for a little while, but that's made by Jackson Systems. I don't think they make that one anymore, but I'm gonna show y'all how to hook this up. This one does not require a return sensor, and actually the Honeywells don't either. That's an option, but this is basically all I need to hook up a wireless thermostat. And we're doing that because there's no continuity on the thermostat wires under the house. And uh, I'm gonna show you my access. I'm not about to get under there. That's my access. And as you see, part of that thermostat wire is down there. I don't know if it's broken under here or under here. So we're just gonna do a wireless thermostat. to mount this in plastic because this is I think it's Bluetooth controlled and you can't put it inside a metal cabinet I wish we could just put this inside the package unit and maybe put a little antenna out here that'd be great but this is the way we have to do it All right, 
that's a little stiff I may I may secure it again down here but uh, that's going to be good all I got to do is mount the other piece and we're fixing to be good to go I am going to take this cover off to wire it up and then we're going to mount this box on the inside I'm gonna put batteries in the thermostat but before I'll do that I've got to freshen up on this manual how to sync them up and program it so basically these are just regular thermostat connections so that's what we got to do all right, I just need to confirm my red, green, blue, yellow, and brown is common. So, uh, you see that's how I have it here. Red is hot, brown is common, green, yellow, white on W2E, and blue over here on blue. We're not utilizing orange. All right, so I literally don't have to program much. I just, I'm gonna try to show you. I had to get these to link up. This is ready to go. I go through these and when I get here, get the PR3, I press this. There's a program button right here. Oops, I, I just pressed it again. I didn't mean to. It flashes alternately green and red until it matches with the thermostat. And then it'll just turn green. A steady blink green means there's no call right now. And I really think that's all I need to do. The, the way I have it wired. I'm going to go through that real quick. Go through these options on the thermostat. And set everything the way it should be. Got that done. I'm just going to have to tell her not to press any of these buttons fan just came on I'm waiting to see if the heat pump comes on and starts running in heat so basically all I have to do now is mount this on the wall and snap that to it that's it all right that flashing red means to heat so it's calling for heat strips and for the heat pump to come on so i'm fixing to go check things i have a call on my electric heat i call on blue but i think it's timing out on yellow look who came to see me Who doesn't love a puppy? Uh, my common is ground right here. Now I've got a call on white, blue, and yellow. So we're running in heat. All I gotta do is mount that thermostat on the wall and tidy up over here. That's it. All right, I decided to post that video because it was of something interesting. I've filmed a lot in the last couple of days. I've been extremely busy 
and in fact it's been hard to get home and edit and shower and get something to eat all at a reasonable time when I'm getting home well after dark so if you like the videos please like and subscribe it does help out thanks for watching Thank you.